Hey guys, Mitch here with you again. World Warships once more. I'm still kind of a new player as you can see. This is the Monarch Tier 8 UK Battleship, the Lion. I mean the Monarch, sorry. I am literally about to get the Lion, so I'm going to recall this game. Although I do have an issue with uh, 7.3 7 million gold. Uh, I don't want to sell ships. Um, exterior... I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it even if I sell all that. But we're going to try to get it here. So at least we'll have the experience. And if we can't get it, we'll just keep running the um, operations of the week and randoms with a Kong and um, my tier 7 here. Okay. Now I can already afford the tier, tier 6 Russian and uh, very close. Club battles off this, but I, I can't afford to spend the money on it, unfortunately. So, this is going to be a game we, I'm going to play. I'm um, just a co op as I need fuck all to do it. Um, I bought that, which I shouldn't have. My permanent armor, we're not going to use any flags or waste anything. Uh, my boons are pretty low, so I'm going to need um, probably somehow to get more boons just to transfer stuff off the ships that I sell, so that's how I can't afford to sell ships. So here we go, straight into battle, eh? Now, real quick, I'll show you my commander. That's the mod there. Turn them into chicks. That's night mod, I highly recommend if you've got bad eyesight like me. So we've got extra fire chance. I will get adrenaline rush when I can. I should have got it already, but uh, I can't afford to. I would, would respect if I could. You know, just, um... What was that one? Again, just increase reload time, extra fire chance, more range, better AA, faster turret turn. Um, this is great, this one, honestly. It's great to switch from heavy to, to armor penetration when you're close up. It's it's really, really good. Especially on a, a fast or a long reload. And this one is just to reduce the... Like, this is what I normally ran with all my ships first, alright? And my equipment that I'm running is... Um, so I've got the I've got the the spotter over the the AA. No, like sometimes, honestly, like maybe when I get the conqueror, I might run this in PvP just to help protect the fleet from aircraft. Because an aircraft here, once you're dead, it's just a matter of time. And a lot of people say it's shit, but I have noticed that it does it does help a bit, especially if I'm in a group with high AA. Now, I've got the special fire thing. I do have a special spotter, but I've got it on, on my um, T7 cruiser because it reloads faster, which gives an extra 30, 30 seconds spotter distance. Plus, as I said, I might run the fighter on this later on in the Conqueror. So, extra fire control. This is a great one to have, normally, if you don't have it. Um... You know, better fire damage control, faster turret turning. On the German ones, I like to get this. And on the cruiser, I have that. Better aim, okay? A lot of people now say that the steering is the best. I like, well, well the best way, I think, to dodge shit that's shooting at you is to slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up, and turning, and start, and do hard turns and stuff. Now, this is, this helps with turning as well, because if I speed up on full, and I'm speeding up 50% faster, I'm going to turn faster, right? So, I personally prefer this over that. Some people even say this one. This would be great, honestly, if you, if, if you were rushing, getting attacked by the, the Conqueror with a 60% shell explosion with the mods, obviously, as well. Now, this is for concealment. I do like this one. Increase the action time of all the ship's consumables by 10%. That would be great for the spotter, especially with 30% on top. I'd probably run that on the cruiser, heavy cruiser. Now, dodging torpedoes is magical, but let's be honest. When, when they're there right next to you, I mean... You, you, you're going to see them regardless. So, I mean, it's obvious they're coming in sideways to drop torpedoes. It's why they're facing sideways. So, you know that, you know what they're doing and thinking. If you're going to think it, the other people are going to think it. So, that's what I'm running with the equipment. You boys have seen it. I'm going for the line now. Just a co-op. Make it friendly. You know, I just want to make it easy for me. Make a quick queue. 
Now, I do do a lot of PvP, but let's be honest. On the Monarch, Tier 8, PvP, player versus player round and battle is fucked. Because you're always versing fucking your motos and thunderers and fucking all this shit that can practically one-shot you from the other side of the map, right? It's it's very frustrating, alright? Just the other day, I was hiding behind an island. I got suspended uh, from typing because of... I, was, I knew I had five minutes left in me. We were both on the island hiding for the node. And there's three, three battleships each. And I've just gone, fuck, I've got five, three minutes left in me. That's it. I'm not a Russian tank. So I've just gone in, shot everything, getting low health. And my idea was just to smash that out of the battleship. And I did. And uh, we both whispered each other after. And thought it had a good time, good laugh. But some swear words went down and got suspended for. But it was a great move. No one's seen it coming. You know, I took the, I took the battleship down. And, and then I exited the game, and within instantly it was over. It's so like you know, I won the game pretty much by doing it. Uh, if I was a Russian ship, though, I would have sat there. If I was a German ship, I would have dropped torps into him. So here we go. This is just a co op, so it's going to be easy, obviously. We do have an aircraft carrier, which are fucking. definitely makes the co ops a bit more annoying because they last a lot longer, you know what I mean? Like. See how fast I'm kind of speeding up as I turn as well, like on takeoff? Now my idea is I want to just kind of shoot everything, slow down while I'm shooting everything, and I want to go straight for that aircraft carrier because they drag the game out. But, you know, they really do. So that aircraft carrier is, hold control is there, so the other one should be there. You know what? A bot, how would a bot think? Maybe it's going to go around the island, or that island. As you can see, I do have mods. Like, look at that zoom mod. That's just, just fucking amazing. You'll see when I shoot. I like to have also here so I can see my auxiliary, especially on the German ones, you know. Now, when people drop spotters straight away like this, you can tell... Hang on. Just shoot that shit down. You can tell that they're the bots. So here we go. Let's, uh... Let's get my plane in the air. You know what? And turn it sideways a bit more. Let's see what happens here, eh? Let's see some more shells coming in. Oh, what a what a lucky fucking miss. Got him. Oh, what a lucky fucking dodge. And that is a cruiser. So over here. I don't know, there, just in case I miss. So the first one's going to hit, I reckon. And the second one was, yeah, just in case. Now, I will slow down to a, to a, to a quarter here, because that island is coming up. And remember, guys, when you're shooting battleships and cruisers, you got to go a lot further for the cruiser. Especially the battleships. It's going to be a good shot, I reckon. Mm, yes, it is. Yes, that was a very good shot. Now, to end this quickly, I might just ram this guy over here. Go for a straight ram. Get over with, maybe. See this snipe mod? It is just fucking absolutely amazing. A must-have mod. So I've got bad eyesight, you know, so. Boom, 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 we hit him. Okay, cool. So do the heal. Oh, thank you for them torpedoes. That was nice. You turning? Fuck you are, dog. We'll go a quarter. As I plan to slowly hit this one there, uh, I got half actually. As I plan to plan this, I plan to go this cunt and just um, ram him. I'll try to get the aircraft carrier if we can. We'll speed up and go straight for the aircraft carrier actually and try to live. And remember, with the sixty percent chance to light him on fire, there that would have been probably two, three fires. We'll turn around broadside a bit. Line up these turrets. So 
Take take his health away. His health taken away. Boom boom. The torpedo is coming, yes they are. Hard lock in, hard lock in. Heal again I will. I'll stop that spin. Full speed ahead. Got a bomber coming in up here, we'll see. Mm. Turn around with Will I reckon and get him. Bring the other tart online, where is it? Tart's right there. He might want to ram me actually, it looks like he does. Good, he's down. Keep pushing forward. Another battleship right there. And PvP obviously is sort of hiding behind islands, like capping nodes. I mean, sometimes, most of the time, a lot of people won't even die. I mean, a good game, they just, it's from capping nodes. That's where destroyers are absolutely vital, same as cruisers. And aircraft carriers are just so fucking annoying. That's why they've been working on subs for a year or more, apparently, but they're so overpowered, like, just being able to be used as a spotter, or just to be able to pop up, like, right next to me here, and just, if I was behind an island, just taught me instantly, you know? If you play the game for a bit, you understand why they're, they're having a lot of problems with it. That might be a kill there. Full right up. Aircraft carrier right there. Good, see, as I thought. Remember I said, a bot probably hiding there. Now the question is, should I spin around? Yes, I will. I'll drop it into stop. I'll spin the ship all the way around. Get my other turret online. Get my in the air up. Start moving a bit. That's good, I'll stop right there. Why? I do have torps coming, but they look friendly. Nah, that'd be good, I reckon. Game should be over before them torps. And that's it, boys. So, let's see the reward here. It's World of Warships, that was a co-op game. Anybody who hasn't played it, but thought about it, play it, give it a go. It's an amazing fucking game. Honestly, I, I try, every time I watch the doco on the Navy battles in World War II, who like watch docos like that, every time I actually watch like a Navy battle, like the Jap, you know, Jap US Navy battles, or the Brismark fight, it's like, fuck, I wish there was a game like that. So, I did get the amount I needed, which obviously I would have. Now my phone's ringing, so I'll just stop that for a sec. Back to port. So, here we go. Look, I got signals and stuff for that. Here we go. So, the lion. Research. 21,000 feet, but yes, I will. Now, I can't buy it yet, because I'm going to need to get the money. So, we'll stop the recording here. And I'll be trying to get the money.